Welcome back guys to another video to boy Sam. Hope you all are doing great. And yeah, I'm just having my coffee right here and I'm like, you know what? Let me just do a quick, nice and short video about the command line, how to write, how to actually use your command line to write your programs and even run them through the command line in case you're not using PyCharm. And yeah, you should have PyCharm, but just in case you're not using PyCharm or you want to know how you do this, this is the video for you to watch. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, watch to the end because I always got surprises for you guys at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end of the video. And yeah, you know what? Let's get to it. First thing we need to do is we need to create and actually check if we have Python installed. So the best way to do use your command line is just do CMD and click enter. So now we've got a new fresh command line right here. We need to check if we actually have Python installed. I know I have Python installed, but some of y'all be sketchy and maybe you don't have it installed. So no, let's make sure you have it installed. And the way we do that is we just write Python dash dash version and click enter. So now you can see right here that this is the version of Python I have. Depending on when you're watching this video, yours might be different. But as far as something shows up like this with a certain version, that means you're good. Next thing I always like to make sure that people do is actually check if you have pip installed also, because if you really want to use Python, you need to have, make sure you have pip installed. And right here, you can see that I have pip installed. It even shows me the folder where it's installed, which is really important. Now, if you don't have this, I can give you some advice at the end of the video, but for now, you know what? Let's get to what the people are actually looking for, which is how do we create the whole Python folder? The first thing we need to do is we need to go to where we want to create that folder in. In my case, I want to create it on my desktop because I want you guys to see it the moment I create it that it pops up on this desktop. So the way we'll do that is we'll say CD and then CD means just going to a folder and I have a folder here called OneDrive. So now we're in OneDrive. After OneDrive is desktop. So we'll say docs, desktop CD also. And you can see now we're in desktop CD. Now that we are in our desktop directory, what we will do now is to create this folder, we'll say type, and then we'll say null, and then we'll use this greater than, greater than sign. After that, we'll put the name of the file we want to actually create. In my case, I want to create a script.py. I'll click enter. You can see it right here, it just showed up like magic. That's the cool thing about programming, guys. So now we see we have our Python script, it has a Python logo on it. it, says the name script that we named it with. So we're halfway there now. But how do we even write inside this without clicking on this folder and using an ID and all that? Well, the way we'll write in this folder is we'll use the echo. And after that, we'll write what we want to actually do. What I want to do is I want to, you know what? Let's do something. I want to create a variable and I'll give that a variable. I'll say variable one, var one. And I'll give it a value of 10. And what I'll do next is to actually save this variable inside the script. I'll say this greater than, I'll write two of it, and then script, which is where we want this to show up, dot pi, enter. So now we have variable one, which is equals to 10. I'll do the same thing, but I want variable two to be equal to, you know what, let's do 30. So variable two, and we change this from one to two, is equals to 30. Mm -hmm. What I want us to do right now is that I actually want us to print the solution of this. So what we'll do next is we'll create this again, but instead of writing variable one now, we'll say print so we say print here. And what do we want to print? We want to print variable one plus variable two. I'll click enter. But nothing is showing up. So how do we see what we've actually created here? Well, the way we're going to see what we created here is we need to run the Python file. And the way we do it is we say Python, and then we say write the name of the file, which is script.py. Click enter. Ooh, so you can see here I made a mistake. This is not variable two, it's var rr. So we need to 
actually change this to var rr my bad this is why you should always check what you're doing press enter now we click enter but we still have that installed so well this is the problem we've created it all and all that but because we made a mistake we need to delete the whole file because deleting the line itself is not going to work out that way now let's just do this real quick i'll say dale and i'll delete the script pi. now we can see it's disappeared okay good thing is we know how to delete everything what I'll do now is I'm just going to go up and do everything from beginning again <laughs> and make sure we don't have any error this time. So yeah, we create our script, it shows up. After that, what do we do next? If you remember, we created one variable, then we created another variable. And this is supposed to be variable two. Then what we did next is we actually wanted the program to print the variable, variable one and variable two. And after that, we wanted to run the script. And you can see we get 40, so it actually worked out. And the good thing is you saw me make the mistake, you saw me correct the mistake. Now you know how to actually how to create a Python file through your terminal. You also know how to actually write inside that file. You know how to, if you get an error, you make a mistake, how to delete the file and start over all again. And yeah, that's the cool thing about this whole command line. If you weren't able to do this because you couldn't create a Python file, what I'll tell you, I'll put some link down below that will help you like make sure you downloaded your Python the right way. Because sometimes when you download your Python, Python program itself, sometimes you download it in the wrong environment. So it's really important that you download it in the right environment. And that's basically it for this video nice short and sweet if you have any questions or have any video recommendations that you would like put it down in the comments below guys like the video please guys it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm subscribe if you're new and share the video too to some friends who are new to python and that's about it and i'll see you all on the next one